bright duty every student matters so let us check graphically whether the pair of equations is consistent if so solve them graphically right so now if we check it graphically that means it will be solved automatically there and then so x plus 3y is equal to 6 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 if you want to check it then you have to make a graph so let us make two tables here one for first equation one for second one right so x y x y this one is for x plus 3y equal to 6 this one is for 2x minus 3y equal to 12 right in the first equation this one if i put x equal to 0 what will be y if i put x equal to 0 3y will be equal to 6 hence y will be equal to 2 okay and if i put y equal to 0 in this equation then x plus 0 will be equal to 6 hence x will be equal to 6 right now look at this equation here if i put y equal to 0 2x will be equal to 12 hence x will be equal to 6 and if i put x equal to 0 then minus 3y will be equal to 12 hence y will be equal to minus 4 right so i have got two points each for this equation and this equation now i can draw graph of pair of linear equations so this is x axis this is y axis this is x dash this is y dash and 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on 1 2 3 4 and so on minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 you will also require minus 4 right for y and so on okay so let's plot this graph first x is 0 y 2 so there is this coordinate 0 2 so 0 2 this point is 0 2 another coordinate is 6 0 so 6 here and 0 so this point is 6 0 and the graph will be a straight line passing through these two points we will name this straight line x plus 3y equal to 6 right now let's draw this graph here 6 0 0 minus 4 6 0 is the same point this one and 0 minus 4 so 0 for x and minus 4 for y this point this point is 0 minus 4 right? this one now the graph will be passing through these two points this one and 6 0 okay let's name this line as 2x minus 3y equals 12 okay now you can see that these two lines pass through this point here right so there is one common point to these two lines which is 6 comma 0 right so this point will give us the solution that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 so this is going to be the solution and it is the graphical solution obviously it is consistent why because these lines are intersecting lines and these are giving us a solution so these lines are consistent okay so this pair of equations is consistent and the solution is x equal to 6 and y equal to 0. Now again graphically we need to find whether the following pair of equations has no solution, unique solution or infinitely many solutions and this we need to do graphically. But before that I would like you to observe that we have got 5 here, 3 here right. In your mind you can observe that always look for this ratio here. This is 5 by 3 and look for this ratio. This is minus 8 by minus 24 by 5 5 will come here and this will give you 3 minus minus sign will negate each other so this will become positive so it is again 5 by 3 and if you notice this ratio here 1 by 3 by 5 will again be 5 by 3 so you keep this in mind 
that this will definitely give you infinitely many solutions. Okay. So, from here the question is clear and answer is also clear to you. You just need to show it now graphically. right? So, for graphical solution we will make two tables. First one and the second one. Okay. So, this table is for this equation and this one has this table. So, now if I take x equal to 0, what will be y? Minus 8 y will be equal to minus 1, hence y will be equal to 1 by 8. If I take y equal to 0, right, x will be equal to minus 1 by 5. Okay. Now, in this equation, if I take y equal to 0, what will be x? 3x will become equal to minus 3 by 5, right? And this 3 can be cancelled, hence x will be equal to minus 1 by 5. You notice something? This is the same point that we got here. Now, again, put x equal to 0 in this. If you put x equal to 0 in this, you will have minus 24 by 5 y equals minus 3 by 5 minus sign can be cancelled, 5 can be cancelled, y will be equal to 3 by 24 which is nothing but 1 by 8. So, again we have got the same point. right? Now, when we draw its graph, we can roughly take minus 1 by 5, let us take here. Let us say this is minus 1 by 5. Another point that we need is 1 by 8 on y axis, let us consider this as 1 by 8. Okay. So, 0 1 by 8 is this point right? and minus 1 by 5 0 is this point. So, this point is 0 1 by 8, this is minus 1 by 5 comma 0. Okay. So, we have got two points and these two points are common to both these equations. So, there will be a unique line here and it will be the same line for both these equations. Hence, we can say that this is, these two lines are coincident lines. First, you draw a line for this, for, then you draw this. It will be same, exactly same line. So, this is coincident pair of lines. Hence, infinitely many solutions. Okay. This is how you can check it graphically. Otherwise, just by looking at the equations, you knew that it is going to be infinite solutions. So, now there is another question. Champa went to a sale to purchase some pants and skirts. When her friends asked her how many of each she had bought, she answered, the number of skirts is two less than the twice the number of pants purchased. Also, the number of skirts is four less than four times the number of pants purchased. Help her friends to find how many pants and skirts Champa bought. Now, Champa went to a sale. So, let us say the number of pants to be x and the number of skirts to be y. Okay. Now, look at her answer. The number of skirts is 2 less than the twice number of pants. So, number of skirts that is y is 2 less than, so we will subtract 2, twice the number of pants. So, 2x is the twice of number of pants and you subtract 2, so you will get y. So, this is first equation. Second point that she says is the number of skirts is 4 less than 4 times the number of pants. So, number of skirts is 4 less than 4 times the number of pants that is 4x. Okay. So, this is the second equation that we get here.
now we need to find the number of pants and number of skirts here so and this in this exercise we are solving these questions graphically so we will solve this one also in by the same method so this equation here y equal to 2x minus 2 and y equal to 4x minus 4 make a table for this x y another table for this equation x y okay now if I put x equal to let us say 2 what will be y 4 minus 2 2 if I put x equal to 1 what will be y 2 minus 2 0 right here if I put x equal to 2 it will give me y equal to 4 because 4 into 2 is 8 8 minus 4 is 4 but if I put x equal to 1 here it will give me 4 minus 4 0 okay so we have got same point 1 0 1 0 okay so when you draw a graph for these this point will definitely be a common point to both the lines hence this point will give us the solution okay so already we have got this solution but let us draw this graph once and then we will comment our final answer so this is x axis this is y axis this is x dash this is y dash 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 and so on this is negative side and this is negative side of y axis okay so first point is 2 2 so 2 and 2 this point will be somewhere here second point is 1 0 so 1 0 is this point this is 1 0 and the graph will be a straight line passing through these two points this line is y equal to 2 x minus 2 okay another graph can be made by these two points x 2 y 4 so 2 4 2 4 is this point and 1 0 is the same point this one so this line will pass through these two points and this line will be named as y equal to 4 x minus 4 so we can clearly see that this point gives us the solution right so 1 0 is the common point to both the lines hence it is the solution so x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 and what was x x was number of pants and y was number of skirts so number of pants number of pants is equal to 1 number of skirts is equal to 0 so she bought one pant and she didn't buy any skirt from the market okay